Hey guys, back with another episode of Real Talk, and today we're going to be talking about why I am going to be selling my Arcade 1UP Marvel Pinball. And before we get into it, I'm not. this is not like a rant and rave just complaining about the Marvel Pinball, that it's horrible and you should sell yours and all that. This is more or less just based on personal preference, like I said, the setup I'm going for in my game room, and nothing has happened in the last week since I've done my review that has changed my mind. If you haven't seen my review of it, um, I'll put a link up here so you can watch it if you are still ordering it and you're excited about it i think you probably will still be happy with it so like i said i'm not trying to tell anyone to sell it tell anyone not to cancel the pre-orders that's not my intentions this is more or less my personal preference why i'm doing it i'm just going to explain it because i know some of you are curious and have asked me why so just to you know for transparency i'm going to explain it it's going to be probably you know a drawn out story so if you're not interested in that you can just go ahead and you know not watch the video but for those of you who are more curious as to why i'm selling mine then you know stay tuned and i'll fill you in so we'll start with why i got it ordered it in the first place so i pre-ordered back on november 11th and obviously i wanted a pinball machine and i i wanted the, the attack from mars number one then star wars then marvel but it was intended to be a christmas present as many of you know it was supposed to release and i think December 14th, it was supposed to come out. December 10th, 14th, somewhere in that range is when GameStop was supposed to ship theirs. Uh, so I, you know, talked with the kids and showed them which, you know, one they would prefer. And they wanted the Marvel. They were showing no interest at the time in the Star Wars and the Attack from Mars. They wanted the Marvel, which oddly enough, my kids don't ha don't even care for the live action movies. The only reason they wanted Marvel is because the Marvel characters uh, are, you know, appear in Fortnite. So it just kind of goes to show you, which I know many parents know, just how powerful uh, Fortnite is <laughs> with the younger kids. So they wanted the Marvel pinball alone just because those characters are in Fortnite. Um, that was it. They don't like the movies. They don't care for anything else really Marvel related except for that. So that's why I initially ordered the, the Marvel, even though I, I you know, I knew... I was just like, whatever, I'm getting a pinball, they'll all be fine. I don't dislike Marvel, I mean, I'm more of a DC person, uh, but I just, like, I don't really have much Marvel paraphernalia. I've watched all the movies multiple times, I like them all, nothing against Marvel, like I said, I just, I collect for DC, I collect for Star Wars, so it's like, these are collectibles I get. Marvel stuff I enjoy, I'm just not really a diehard. So I kept my pre-order, then it got delayed, as many of you know, uh, then when I finally got it, I, you know, did a review, and... I liked it, uh, so, but I had issues with it, and I was not going to sell it. I kind of went through the whole, it's, you know, I think kind of personally it should be more around like the 500 range, but I think it's also, if you're a diehard Marvel fan, your kids are, your family really likes Marvel, then I, I mean, I think five 550 is, you know, is, is pretty reasonable. Um, why I kind of went with the whole 500 thing was because Best Buy has been putting them for has less them for $5.99, and at that price, I think that's starting to get a little bit steep. So five, five fifty, I think is pretty fair price. Six hundred, I think, is getting a little bit, a um, little bit carried away. So I couldn't. The things that I liked the most about the machine was number one, the appearance. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous looking unit. So I mean, I, I think it's really hard to say that the arcade one ups don't, with all their flaws, you know, just hardware wise and stuff like that. Um, it's really hard to argue the fact that they're really gorgeous looking machines and Another thing that they do really well is the music. So the audio on them is is uh, is really good. Okay now Over Christmas I'll kind of back up a little bit now, so I'll hop I'm gonna be hopping back and forth <laughs> over Christmas uh, Every Christmas I would do like a marathon where I watch all the Star Wars Star Wars movies, right? And this year I also integrated in the uh, Mandalorian. So my kids had not seen the Mandalorian. I kind of binged through um, season one and season two of them. They loved the Mandalorian. Uh, then I watched, you know, I've been watching through the Clone Wars. They've been watching some Clone Wars and they really like it. So they're now they they're starting to get I've brainwashed them into you know, getting on board with the whole Star Wars thing. <laughs> Sounds bad, but you know, you kind of you kind of know how it goes as a parent sometimes, but they, you know, they really like the, the Star Wars stuff. So when I listen to the, the Marvel one, it's like the, at least I don't think that the sound, like the, the soundtrack for the, the Marvel pinball, I don't know that it's uh, necessarily like 
any tracks from the movies or it's just the music is fine on it I just it's not music that I really care for so it, it sounds fine it's not bad but it's nothing that really like just grabs grabs a hold of me uh, the Star Wars one on the other hand I mean it's it's licensed music and it's fantastic music so I if I'm gonna have a machine I want one that plays good music and when the Walmart pre-order went up I put in my pre-order so I actually pre-ordered from Walmart so I should be getting it in May uh, and that's for 549 like I know a lot of you have have uh, gotten in on those pre-orders as well and where I'm at is just that I don't really want two of them uh, I I like it enough to to have one I, like I said I didn't regret getting the one that I got I had issues but I just didn't you know I didn't re I didn't regret it but I don't like it enough to have two and I have the Legends pinball uh, on pre-order so that's gonna be coming so I'm gonna have the Legends pinball coming in and I just don't really need two on top of it so I'm planning on getting my pre-order holding that one from Star Wars and then selling my Marvel so it's not like I said so it's nothing that like I really dislike the Marvel that much to where I don't want to keep it uh, I just I, I just don't care enough to have two of the arcade one-ups um, maybe if they do a version two maybe I'll feel differently but more or less that's why it's because I'm I did put in a pre-order for the Star Wars one I like those I like those tables more I like the music more and I was really worried that the kids weren't gonna be in on it and then when I ran it by them you know I said you know listen I was thinking about getting rid of the Marvel pinball and they were like why why are you gonna get rid of it so they were like pretty upset and I'm like well I was actually you know thinking about selling it and getting a Star Wars pinball and then they just had this look and they said well that would actually probably be cooler and I was like <laughs> so at that point in time I was like alright so I, I put the pre-order in uh, and then plan is that I'll end up be selling the Marvel now full transparency here I have a hard time selling stuff I'm a collector so when I collect things it is you know I, I tend not to sell things uh, this is a little bit different because it takes up a lot of room and the new layout that I'm going for my like my TV room game room is on one wall I'm gonna have the outrun cabinet coming out then I plan on having the Star Wars cabinet come out and then the Legends pinball coming out and then later this year I plan on building a racing simulator coming out so I think I can fit all four of those coming out from one wall I don't think I can fit if I have two uh, two arcade up one up pinballs so I don't think I can fit three pinballs the outrun cabinet and then the racing simulator so that's why you know it's just for space you know they're like I said they're I like them I like it enough to own one it is gorgeous looking I have you know quite a bit of Star Wars collectibles as far as like Kotobukiya statues and just other statues and just this plates that I have up on the wall so I think I could I as many of you know like the thing with arcade one up it's not even just the arcade itself it's like the the styling of it that's what a lot of us like is they do a really good job with just like how their machines and their units look so that's why I would like to get the Star Wars one and just decorate it kind of like similar to what I've done with my uh, Ninja Turtle one I got a lot of like Ninja Turtle stuff going on around that that area so I'd like to do something similar with the Star Wars one and that is my goal um, now the other issue is is that the arc the attack from Mars I am <laughs> probably I'm a little bit afraid that they're gonna put that up for sale from Walmart too and if they put that up for sale it's possible I will drop my Star Wars and get that one but I don't know the attack from Mars I think has the best tables I think the Star Wars one will be the coolest one to just for me personally to decorate around and, and then also just the soundtrack in general so plan is as of right now is to sell the Marvel keep my pre-order for Star Wars you never know it if I end up in a couple months with three arcade one-up pinballs that's that's not gonna happen listen I'm not gonna let it happen but if it does happen I'll be really upset <laughs> But I think that at this point in time, I can still get my money out of the Marvel one. If I, you know, before, uh, if I get rid of it, I think in the next month or so, I think I can get 550 out of it, um, and that's my my plan. If I can't get if I can't get my money out of it, then I won't be selling it. That's another issue as well. So if I can get my money out of it, I will be selling it. So hopefully I can. If you're interested, if you want a Marvel pinball that is slightly used, let me know. Um, I'm over in Virginia, so if you're near Virginia, you want a Marvel pinball, hit me up. But uh, other than that, that's it. Like I said, no big, no big, uh, <clears throat> no big drama. Like it's like uh, it's something broke, and it's just this thing's horrible. Drop your pre-order. You know, nothing, nothing like that. It's just like I said, more or less personal preference. But um, 
that's it. I know some of y'all were wondering because I've been saying that I got in on the Star Wars pinball and I know a lot of you were like, well, you didn't seem like you liked the Marvel one that much. So why are you buying the second one? I was like, well, I'm buying the Star Wars because I'm planning on selling my Marvel. <clears throat> and at the same time, it's like, whoa, 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 you're selling your Marvel. Why are you selling your Marvel? What's wrong with it? And it's like nothing, nothing is like really drastically wrong. It's just personal preference. Um, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.